Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to capture my thoughts for today with this tag, Jittery Donations. And in 1 Kings chapter 17, God said to Elijah in 1 Kings chapter 17, the early verses, I think 8 or so, God said to Elijah, go to Zarephath. For there I have commanded. So God said, go to Zarephath. I've already issued an order. I've already told somebody. I've already issued a directive to a widow woman in Zarephath to feed you there. And God then said to Elijah, go to Zarephath. For there I have asked the widow woman to sustain you. Now, I, I, I'm, so Elijah gets to, to, to Zarephath and then asks the woman, Please, um, can I have water? The woman is running to fetch the water. Then he said, can you add a cake of, uh, a loaf of bread and then a, a, a cruise of oil? Then the woman said, alas, alas, alas. We don't have. What I just have is just a cruise of oil and a little cake, a loaf of cake and then um, a loaf of bread. And when we eat it, we will die. That's what the woman said. He said, what I have is not enough for me to sacrifice it to you. And she said, when we, we even eat it, we're going to die. There's nothing more for us. So how, even us, when we eat, we'll die. Now you are asking us to give it to you. That means we will die before our die. Or we'll die before our death. <laughs> so, so and, and, and I'm looking at the whole uh, story over there. Look at what God said. I have already spoken to her. I have commanded her to feed you. I've told her either in a dream, in a vision, in an audible voice, in a voice, in a spirit, or through another prophetic utterance, directive. I have given her the directives to feed you. Now the question is, did God know that that was what was left? Did God know that she was in a sorry state? Did God know that she was in a, in, 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 in a very dire, dire strait or in a very horrible plight? Did God know? Yes, he knew. And God said, still I have commanded her to feed you. To sustain you. And now here's here's the interesting thing. When 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 God said those words, I mean Elijah gets there and asks the woman for the this and then the woman, what does she raise up as an answer? Fear. So she so she had the Jesus when it came to when it came to uh, the, the, the sacrifice. He said, Sacrifice this, you give it to Elijah. I have asked you to do it. God is not a fool, he knows that that's the last carol. That's what we say. That's the, the last thing in the plate of a sumptuous plate that and you are not full. God knows, but God said, I want you to do this. Feed him. Sustain him. And look at the word he used. For there I've commanded the widow woman there to sustain you. That means to continually feed you with a little. God must surely know what he's doing. And sometimes God is interested in our little because he wants to bring us much. So God then say, I mean, the woman says, hey, my fear, my fear. What did she do? She raised up fear. Anytime God makes a demand of sacrifice upon us, our first reaction is a reaction of fear. And our fear begins to, uh, the fear begins to climb us. The fear becomes the reason why we can't sacrifice. The fear, become, and we can give all sorts of reasons and all sorts of excuses for it. But guess what? Your fear will trap you and you'll see later. Your fear is an entrapment. Thou are snared by your fears. And, and, and this woman, I mean her fears, she said, I'm afraid to give. Yes, giving is not easy. Giving is, is a, and sometimes you need to overcome your fear. The, the Bible says a widow's might. You know, everybody else came in the days of Jesus. Everybody else came casting. But when the widow woman got there, she threw. That means she violently gave. Because that was all that she had. And her, her giving attracted the applause of God. 
had given attracted the 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 the, 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 the I mean, Jesus was like wow. So everybody else gave. Jesus didn't comment about that. Everybody else cast. They didn't comment about that. When that woman threw in her lot. I mean, sometimes you need to gather the energy. You need to gather the strength, the inner strength, and say, I'm going to do it. There has to be a do or die affair. It's an act of trust. And sometimes you need to come out of your fear. You need to come out of your jitters. You need to come out from your culpability. You need to come out from your shakings in order to step out in faith. Because sometimes there's a harvest coming. The seed in itself is never going to give you a harvest until it is planted. So I, you can hold the seed in your hand, but until you put it in the, into the ground, it will, it will never. You'll be holding the seed. Don't feed on the seed. Don't hold back the seed. Sow the seed. And you need to do it in faith. And you need to do it in trust. He said, I have commanded her to sustain you. Why? Because God knows he's about to do something that can sustain a sustainable miracle, a sustainable feat of God, a sustainable act of God that would, that would run through the gamut of the famine. Oh. Jittery donations, fearful donations. You need to get out of it and see what God can do. See you later.